Welcome to Fatso. Today we are gonna explain a 2021 horror film called Candyman. Spoilers alert, enjoy. Anthony McCoy was a visual artist who was living in Chicago with his girlfriend who was an art gallery director named Brianna Cartwright. One night, Brianna's brother named Troy shared the urban legend of Helen Lyle who was a white graduate student who went on a killing spree in the early 1990s. The story went that her rampage culminated in a bonfire outside the Cabrini Green projects which she attempted to sacrifice a baby. The residents are able to rescue the child from Helen before she perished in the fire in an apparent act of self-immolation. As he was desperate for a creative spark to turn his career around, Anthony latched on to this story and roamed around Cabrini Green by looking for an inspiration. He had a chance encounter with William Burke who was a laundrette owner who introduced him to the story of the Candyman. When Burke was a child, he had a frightening encounter with Sherman Fields who was a hook-handed man who the police believed that he was responsible for putting a razor blade in a piece of candy that ended up in a white girl's hands. Burke inadvertently alerted the police to his presence in the walls of one of the tower blocks by leading them to beat Sherman to death. Sherman was exonerated when more children received the candy with the razor blades. The legend went that repeating the name Candyman five times in front of a mirror invoked Sherman's spirit which he appeared in the reflection and killed whoever spoke his name. After he was inspired by this, Anthony developed an art exhibit around the Candyman's legend and he showcased it at Brianna's gallery, but he was dismayed when he did not get the kind of reaction that he was hoping for. On that night, one of Brianna's co-workers and his girlfriend are slaughtered by the Candyman after saying his name five times in front of a mirror. Their bodies are discovered in the morning by Brianna. More people are killed after repeating the Candyman's name including an art critic and a group of teenage girls. Meanwhile, Anthony began to undergo a physical transformation that was stemming from a bee sting that he got on his hand while he was walking around Cabrini Green. The sting developed into a scab that began to spread and cover his whole body. Anthony went to a hospital to get checked out where he learned that his mother lied about where he was born. Anthony paid a visit to his mother who revealed that he was the baby that Helen Lyle saved from the fire on the night that she died, though the truth was that Helen saved him from the first candy man named Daniel Robitaille who abducted him and he planned to sacrifice him in the fire, she never told him about it because she wanted Anthony to have a normal life. The community vowed to never repeat the Candyman's legend after that night and his mother feared what would happen to Anthony as someone broke their pact. Anthony left as he was resigned to his fate and he wandered around Cabrini Green's row houses. As she was concerned about Anthony, Brianna recalled him mentioning that he first heard about the Candyman from Burke so she headed to Cabrini Green in the hopes of finding him. Once she was there, Burke subdued Brianna and took her to an abandoned church where Anthony entered a fugue state as his body continued to deteriorate. Burke revealed that he witnessed the police beat Sherman to death. He saw Sherman return as the candy man which he butchered his older sister when she summoned him in their apartment's bathroom mirror. He planned to have Anthony gunned down by the police by creating a new legend which the candy man was an instrument of vengeance rather than a symbol of black pain and suffering. To complete Anthony's transformation into the Candyman, he sawed his right hand off and he replaced it with a hook. Brianna managed to escape from the church and she was chased into Cabrini Green's row houses by Burke who she viciously stabbed to death. Anthony appeared and he collapsed into her arms as the police that are lured to the scene by Burke showed up and they shot Anthony to death. Brianna was handcuffed and placed in the back of a police SUV where an officer attempted to intimidate her into agreeing that Anthony provoked the other officer into shooting him. Brianna used the car's rearview mirror to summon Anthony who was the candy man and he massacred every police officer at the scene. As more police arrived, the candy man took Daniel's appearance on and he instructed Brianna to tell everyone. If you enjoyed this movie please like share and comment please.